Christmas is a time of year for decking the halls and creating a warm welcome for your family and friends. I'm going to share with you my secrets on how to make a wreath that is stylish and easy. People are always asking me, how did you make that wreath? And I always tell them, it's really not that hard. You'll need to start with what is in your garden and you will be amazed at how quickly you can find all of the greenery and berries you will need to make your wreath. The materials you will need are a 24 inch fake wreath or larger, 20 clippings of Oakland Holly, 20 clippings of Utopia, 20 clippings of Mojo Pittosporum, around 20 clippings of Teddy Bear Magnolia or Little Jim, whatever works best for you, 20 clippings of Cryptomeria, 10 to 12 clementines with floral picks, 20 clippings of Fraser fur, gold spray paint, floral wire, and a glue gun. You can find the Southern Living Plant Collection at your local garden center. When cutting from your garden, you always want to have several gallon buckets filled up halfway with water. After cutting your greenery, soak your cuttings for at least five to eight hours. This allows your greenery to drink and your wreath will stay fresh the entire holiday season. Guests are always shocked when I share with them my secret of using a fake wreath as your base. It's a great foundation. The pre-wired foliage in this fake wreath is my quick and easy way to create a beautiful holiday wreath. When choosing a wreath for your base, go ahead and make the investment and spend the extra money. Because remember, this is a wreath you're going to use year after year. Start at the top of the wreath and work your way around the wreath by wiring in Cryptomeria first. It's flat and works great as your foundation. Next, add your magnolia to complement the Cryptomeria. Fill in your wreath with Utopia, one of my favorites for its wispy texture. We spray painted ours gold to add warmth to our wreath. Now we're going to highlight the wreath with Mojo Pittosporum. The bright green variegated foliage punches up a traditional wreath. Let's fill up our empty holes with Oakland Holly. I adore this holly because the leaves are nice to your hands and the edges are not as sharp as others, so it's really easy to use. Add fresh fruit to the wreath. To keep your fruit fresh all season long, skewer the piece of the fruit and take a glue gun. Place a little bit where the skewer meets the piece of the fruit. This prevents the air from getting inside and it will not rot as quickly. One of my tips. You can always add a bow or enjoy the natural look. A wreath can be used in many ways. On a door, as a centerpiece on a table with candles glowing, or hanging at an entryway. To keep your wreath fresh, mist twice a week. After the holidays, remove all of your greenery and store your wreath for next year. For more Christmas decorating tips, visit us at southernlivingplants.com or like us on Facebook.